find the length of the card of circle with the equation x square plus y square minus 4y equals to 0 along the line x plus y equals to 1. Also find the angle that the card subtends at the circumference of the larger segment. So we have been given an equation of a circle x square plus y square minus 4y equals to 0 and we have been told that the card on the circle is AB which is given by equation x plus y equals to 1. We have to find out the length of the card AB and also we need to find out what is the angle that subtended by the card at any point on the larger segment or major segment. So we need to calculate what is AB and we have to calculate what is angle APB. Since we have been given the equation of the circle, we will try to find out what is the center and what is the radius and we can also calculate from the center what is the perpendicular distance to the line or to the card. So we can calculate OA, we can calculate OM. With the help of Pythagoras theorem, we can find out what is AM and we double it up, we will get AB. Also, we can calculate the angle APB because we know angle AOB is 2 times of angle APB. So first let us focus on how to find out the length of the card AB. For that, the first thing we have to do is to find out the center of this particular circle. So let us write down the equation of the circle. We have been given x square plus y square minus 4y plus equals to 0. Now I can write it as x square general form y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. In this scenario, our center is given by o is minus g comma minus f and the radius is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c. Let us compare with the equation given to us and see what is the center because we know center is minus g comma minus f. Let us compare the terms. We have 2g x. There is no x term. So, 2g equals to 0 and 2 into f equals to minus 4. So, g equals to 0 and f equals to minus 2. So, the center is given by minus g minus f that means it will be 0 comma 2. Now, let us calculate what is the radius. Radius is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c. We have 0 square plus 4 minus 0 which is equals to 2. So, the radius or OA is also equals to 2. Now, let us find out what is OM so that you can apply Pythagoras theorem and we can apply Pythagoras theorem and find out what is AM. OM is perpendicular distance of 0 comma 2 to the card AB. So, that will be AX1. So, 0 plus by 1 that is 2 minus or 1 divided by root of a square plus b square that is root of 1 plus 1. The general formula is like this. Suppose we have a point x1 comma y1 and we want to calculate what is the perpendicular distance from the line ax plus by plus c equals to 0, then the formula is ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by root of a square plus b square. Now, the same concept we are using here. So, here our ax plus by plus c equals to 0 is x plus y minus 1 and x1 comma y1 is 0 comma 2. So, when we simplify, we will get OM equals to 1 by root 2. Now, what is AM, AM square equals to by Pythagoras theorem? OA square minus OM square. OA square is 2 square minus OM square is 1 by root 2 whole square. 
which is 4 minus 1 by 2 that is equals to 7 by 2. That will give us a m equals to root 7 divided by root 2. What we want is a b, a b equals to 2 times of a m. So, 2 into root 7 divided by root 2 which is equals to square root of 14. So, a b is equals to square root of 14 and a m is equals to root 7 divided by root 2. Here also we have m b is also root 7 by root 2. So, you add them or multiply with 2 you will get root 14. Now, let us find out what is angle a p b for that we will use the triangle a o m. Now, we know that triangle a o m and triangle b o m are congruent to each other because we have r h s congruency, we have 90 degrees, we have one side common and we have a hypotenuse which is nothing but the radius. So, these two triangles are congruent to each other. Then in that scenario, we can say that these two angles are equal. Let us say that is theta and theta. Then we know that the angle made by the card at circumference on the major segment will be half of that. So, we have a formula that if angle A O B is equals to 2 theta, then angle A P B is equals to 2 theta by 2 which is equals to theta. Now, we can easily use the triangle O A M and find out theta there. We can write down in triangle O A M we have sin theta or we can take cos theta also. Sin theta equals to root 7 divided by root 2 by 2 which is root 7 by 2 root 2. So, that means theta equals to sin inverse of root 7 by 2 root 2 or you can also take it as cos inverse of 1 by 2 root 2. So, that is angle APB.